In this lesson, we are going to be reviewing proportional reasoning and what proportions are and how to reason proportionally. So first of all, in order to um, understand it, we're going to have to define what a proportion is. What a proportion is, is a relationship that says two rates or ratios are equal to each other. Okay, so if you look at the first example here, what you'll notice is two-thirds is equivalent to six-ninths, and here's the proportional reasoning for that, and they are equivalent, and this is a proportion, that two-thirds is equivalent to six-ninths, and the reason here is because the multiplier for the numerator and the denominator are equivalent to each other. So two times three is six, and three times three is nine, so proportionally, the second ratio or fraction is three times larger than the first one, but they are equivalent. Uh, in the next example, we've got a question here, and again, you might want to pause this video in order to catch up writing. Uh, this question says, or to answer in advance of the question, are the ratios 3 to 4 and 9 to 16 equal? Now, first of all, what some of you might want to do visually, because you might not be able to reason uh, horizontally, you might want to reason vertically, is you can ask yourself, and you can make these fractions, is 3 over 4 equivalent to 9 over 16? So we're going to see if we can uh, reason proportionally to think about if these are equivalent. And again, you might want to try this on your own. Uh, if we look at the numerator, and again, there's lots of ways to do this. If we look at the numerator, which is the top, we know that the multiplier is 3. So uh, proportionally, the numerator is 3 times larger. But if you look at the denominator, the denominator is actually 4 times bigger because 4 times 4 is 16. So because these aren't proportionally equivalent, the answer is going to be no. These are not equal to each other. So what we're going to do now is look at two ways to solve proportions. So if proportions state that two ratios are ratios or rates are equal to each other, what happens if we know that we have a proportion, but we need to solve for something we don't know? So uh, there are two ways to do this, and you're going to find that out right now, and uh, there's reasons for it. So if we look at this first one, so solving proportions, there's two methods. The first method is using a multiplier or divider to solve for the unknown. So if we look at this particular example, we know that it's a proportion. We are asking ourselves, 10 to 15 is equivalent to 2 to what? So 10 to 15, if we want to write that as a fraction instead, we can. So here's 10 to 15 is equivalent to 2 over what? So if this is a proportion, we know that the numerator is being divided by 5, because 10 divided by 5 equals 2. And since we know that, what we know is that the denominator must also be divided by 5. So 10 fifteenths is equivalent to 15 divided by 5 in your denominator, which is equivalent to 3. So in this particular case, your denominator is going to be 3. So in other words, 10 to 15 is equivalent to 2 thirds. Uh, in this next example, it's a little bit more tricky because it doesn't have an integer uh, multiplier to solve for the unknown. So we'll notice that right here. So in order to do that, method number two is to reduce the ratio first and then solve, although, although there is another method. Now the issue here, as you're writing this down or investigating the numbers, is 15 over 21 is equivalent to something over 56, is that we don't know, there are ways to do it, and some of you might want to try that way as well, is we don't know what multiplies 21 to be 56, because 56 doesn't go in to 20, or 21 doesn't go into 56, it goes into 56 like two and a half times roughly, or a little bit more than that. So one way to do this is create a middle step. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to rewrite this here. But we create a middle step where we re reduce, as you can see, it says reduce the ratio first, and then solve. So if I was asking you to reduce 15 over 21, so we're going to make this an equivalent ratio in lower terms, you're going to notice how that's helpful in just a second. So both of these can be divided by 3. So a proportion that's equivalent to 15 over 21 is 5 over 7. And the reason that's useful is because if you look at the denominator now, 7 does go into 56. 7 goes into 56 8 times. So why that's useful? The numerator now is 5 times 8, which is going to be equivalent to 40. Okay? So if you don't have an integer multiplier or divider in order to figure out or solve your proportion, one thing you might want to do is reduce the ratio first and then solve. 